We can now extract MIDI information from drum loops in an audio track by right clicking and choosing convert drums to new MIDI track. This will go through and analyze the loop, grabbing every note and every rhythmic value, putting it into a new MIDI clip for us on a MIDI track that has a default drum rack which we can then replace with something else we prefer. We can also extract MIDI information from a melodic loop within an audio track by right clicking and choosing convert melody to new MIDI track. This goes through and analyzes the pitch of every single note. It then gives us a MIDI clip with each note with the correct pitch and velocity and rhythmic value and it puts it into a MIDI track which has a preset which best matches the original. We can also extract MIDI information from an audio loop that contains chords by right clicking and choosing convert harmony to new MIDI track. This will go through and analyze the chord and find each individual note, putting it into a MIDI clip like so with the correct velocity and rhythm. It also puts it on a MIDI track which contains a preset which is similar to what the sound was before. You can then replace this with anything you like. The MIDI note editor has some new functions. The first is the transpose slider, located here. By selecting a range of notes, it will display the lowest to the highest note, allowing us to click and drag up to go up in semitone increments, or to decrease in semitone increments. This is the play at halftime button. By clicking this, the notes will double out, playing the notes at halftime. We can also play at double time by clicking this button. Reverse will reverse the selection over a vertical axis. and invert will invert over a horizontal axis. Legato will drag a note out so the length extends to the start of the next note. And duplicate loop will duplicate the entire thing. We can also select notes in the MIDI note editor and stretch them using the MIDI stretch marker, changing the timing as we go. even reverse things. Another improvement to the MIDI note editor is the ability to click on a note and drag it freely left or right until it snaps to the grid point next to it. By pushing the B key we can now simply switch to draw mode without using a modifier key. By holding down B temporarily, it will flick between draw mode and draw mode off, and vice versa. When you have something selected and you push enter, it'll switch between time selection and note selection. Pushing Q will now enable hot swap mode. It's now more simple to control automation in the clip view. A steady red dotted line means there's no automation, and we simply have to click once with the left mouse button to insert a point without using a modifier key. By holding down the Option or Alt key, we can now use curves. The browser has also undergone some changes. On the left hand side we have a categories pane, and on the right hand side we have a content pane. The sounds contains our instrument racks and presets, sorted by what kind of sound they make. Drums, we have our drum hits and drum racks. Instruments, we have our usual Ableton Live instruments, usual audio effects, and usual MIDI effects. Max for Live is now included in Ableton Live 9 Suite, which gives us a whole lot more audio effects, instruments, and MIDI effects. Plugins, we have our audio units and VST. Clips. These are our installed live clips. Samples lists all the samples which we define in the places. Packs, we have all our installed Ableton Live packs. User library is where all the presets that we create go. Live 8 library is the legacy library brought over from Ableton Live 8. And current project displays the files currently being used in the project. Underneath this we can add as many folders as we want using the add folders button, which will select a folder on our computer and add it to the pile of samples. 
We can also now click on a factory patch to get a preview of what it sounds like. The EQ8 has also had some changes. You'll see we have a spectrum within the EQ8 now which shows us what's currently being changed and what's affected. We can make this big as we can with the spectrum in Ableton Live 8. We also have two new types of poles. We have a times four high pass and a times four low pass allowing us to really shelf off frequencies. The adaptive Q is a new thing which allows the Q to be adapted as the gain goes up or down, but we can turn this off if we don't like it. We also have a preview mode which allows us to preview a pole when we click on it and move it around to isolate frequencies. The compressor also has a few changes. We can put an auto release on which changes the release time based on the incoming audio signal. We can switch between logarithmic and linear modes for the envelope follower and we have a dry wet value great for parallel compression. We can also move over to the activity monitor which gives us a good visual representation of what's actually currently happening to the sound. The gate now has a return control. This reduces the amount of chatter or noise when levels change quickly near the threshold. We can also now see our inputs and outputs in a display, allowing us to easily change the sound. The new glue compressor is an analog model compressor. Its job is best done sitting on the master track or on a group track. It glues elements together and makes them sound like they're mixed well. We can now record automation directly into Session View. We do this by hitting the automation arm, arming a track, and hitting Session Record. If I switch over to arrangement mode, you'll notice the back to arrangement button has been positioned here. We also have these arrows here, which let us go back to arrangement just for a specific track. In arrangement mode, we can select an area, right click, and choose consolidate time to new scene. When we go back to session mode, you'll see it's given us a scene with the area that we selected. Finally, Ableton Live 9 Suite comes with over 3,000 sounds, instruments, acoustic, digital, drums, everything you can imagine, orchestral strings, pianos, you name it. It's really cool, and I hope you've enjoyed this. www.cosm.co.nz Thank you.